Awareness of ocean pollution has been slowly growing around the world. We all have seen images of garbage islands floating in Asia. One country that's suffering from the garbage epidemic is Thailand, a country known for its beautiful beaches. NHK World's Pachaya Tanaudom looks at Thailand's first steps in environmental protection. A blaring announcement of a hefty fine. For the first time, the Thai government is taking a hard line against smoking and littering here, even if that means confronting beachgoers. This is discrimination, yes. Discrimination for our who, who smoking. Since smoking on the beach has been made illegal, authorities have placed designated smoking areas further inland. The hope is to keep these where they belong, in the trash, not in the sand. So far, 24 popular beaches started criminalizing smoking outside designated areas at the beginning of February. Now it's our national policy. Cigarette butts have been an issue, especially when they end up in the ocean. The punishment is heavy, but it's necessary. Thailand is the world's sixth worst ocean polluter, following countries like China, Indonesia and the Philippines. Trash litters beaches. There have even been reports of floating garbage islands in the Gulf of Thailand. Up to 80% of marine waste is because of plastic litter. In response, the country's marine department is recruiting local volunteer divers to help with the cleanup. They scour the ocean floor for trash, but they say they're just a small group and can only do so much. While we will continue doing what we need to do to protect the area, it's not easy at all. So authorities are trying to stop litter from happening in the first place. This island has gone so far as to ban plastics. Local stores give out paper bags instead. Most support the idea. So I'm pretty used to not being able to have plastic unless you purchase a bag, and I think it's great for the environment. No plastic bag. Plastic bag. Not allowed. Get on not the allowed. Island. More action is in the works. The Thai government has plans for a plastic bag ban on at least 200 islands and national parks by next year. But plastic food packaging is still used by vendors. This marine ecologist says more needs to be done. We amended policies and regulations, but the problem can't only be fixed by laws. Everyone is part of the problem. The national strategy must endorse a combination of measures, a combination of incentives for both the public and the manufacturers. If that doesn't happen, a lot of effort may end up being wasted. Pataya Tanaudom, NHK World, Bangkok.